So what does it take to be a War One expert? My name is Tomislav Burlak, and I'm a sales engineer at OneThings. And I'm going to rephrase that question and ask a slightly shorter one. What does it take to be an expert? Well, according to a study done by researchers in 1993, it takes at least 10,000 hours of hard work, study, and a practice to become an expert of a field. 10,000 hours is around five years of work. And five years ago, I was still in college doing some other things. So how can one be an expert in sh as short time as possible? Well, the short answer is we can't. So recently, I had a conversation with the CTO of a multi-million dollar company whom I know personally and consider to be an expert, expert in embedded systems. I asked him whether he is an expert. And he smiled, responded, in an industry that grow, grows as fast as this one, w once you call yourself an expert and stop learning, you are already outdated. So we agreed, so we agreed that and the industry grows exponentially by the day. Thank you. Uh, we agreed that it grows exponentially by the day. And not everyone can be expert at everything. People can be experts at much smaller fields that, when connected together, create this IoT Lora One ecosystem. So when it comes to making Lora One products, what do you need? Well, you either need to be or need to have employed a firmware expert who will know how to write your code, not only your application, but also your LoRa or your LoRa One stack. You will need to have an RF expert who will know how to design your antenna, the matching network behind it for maximum efficiency. You will need to have a PCB layout expert who will draw your PCB in as small footprint as possible. You need a security expert and well, we can agree that security and this time of age is extremely important and cannot be left behind. And lastly, we need an expert in patience. Everything takes time, and most importantly, money. And we've seen in the past few years that certifications take the most of it. So I have a confession to make. I am not a Laura One expert. I have, however, accumulated a lot of knowledge over the time I have been in this industry, and some people do call me an expert, but I do not consider myself to be one. So a while back, I met a client, a client that needed to make a Laura One product. So I asked him, do you need security? And just like nothing, he said yes. I I'm not a security expert. I do not know how to make an antenna that will reach multiple kilometers, nor do I know how to write a stack that can be certified. So I'm looking for a solution, an all-in-one solution that doesn't make me, uh, a does, doesn't need me to be a security expert where I do not need to know and I do not want, want to know how to implement a secure element or a solution that already has a stack implemented, antenna made, matching network, and everything done. Is that possible? So it already exists. So you do not have to be a LoRa One expert. Well, actually, you do not even need to know how LoRa or LoRa One works to be able to send data to over 32 kilometers with a battery powered that can last for multiple years. This is an image from a client based in the Netherlands. They are an agriculture based client. They send small packets of data every one hour. And here you can see a packet of data being received to over 32.9 kilometers away. So who is the expert here, if I'm not the expert? 
It's this piece of hardware. This is the si this module, the size of my thumb, with an integrated antenna the size of my nail. This is the expert. This is the wanting score LoRa One module. So how is this module an expert while also being easy to use, have top of the line security, and allowing you to have the shortest time to market possible? So it has a lot of technology in it. Firstly, it has the latest PSOC 6 dual core microcontroller. So why dual core? On its Cortex M0 Plus core, it has a certified, separated, and secure LoRa 1 stack, which runs separately from your application on the Cortex M4. So why is it separated? It's separated so the user cannot influence it in any way. So you are certain that your application and the code you write and the bugs you make, like Lucas said, you might, might, might make, will not influence the LoRa 1 functionality. It also comes with certifications which are passable to you. And that is why it is locked. Uh, it comes with an integrated secure element with security already configured, so you do not have to be a security expert to use it. Also, it comes with Bluetooth, Bluetooth 5. So this is the only module on the market which has an easy to use lower one stack with Bluetooth already in in integrated, which makes it the most diverse module on the market. It uses the latest Semtex SX1261 radio chip to, to achieve this level of effectivity. And lastly, it has an integrated, high-efficiency omnidirectional antenna. So how do you use it? We've made the API as easy to use as possible. This code here on the screen, you can see, uses only four functions to send a hello world message every hour. So you only need in LoRa 1 init, LoRa 1 join, which joins the network, LoRa 1 send, which sends the buffer of data with its length, and LoRa 1 sleep. And our goal was to make your life as developers as easy as possible. And with these four functions, we do it. So you might think, OK, it's easy to use, but everything that's easy to use, it's hard to configure. Well, no. We have made an array of functions which you can use to configure your own application, your, your sleep modes and uh, similar. So I have found a solution that is easy to use, that has top-of-the-line security, already implemented without me needing to be a security expert. It reduces time to market, and it saves your money. So I hope that I have convinced you that you can send data using LoRa 1 far, far away. And I hope that you can see that the wanting score LoRa 1 module is the only LoRa 1 expert you need. Thank you. I'm open for questions. <laughs>